Are you out of the game? Is that what that is? Yeah. You, you're not doing it anymore? No. It's just, oh, really? Just got put off a full-time job. Tari game? So, we just got to work out pricing, mate. I would give you a clean... Good morning. Friday morning. In the... Uh, in the office. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff everywhere and I it doesn't sit well with me when the office space is a mess. Uh, Courtney was sick yesterday. She didn't come in, but I did have a massive bulk purchase that turned up at my front door, uh, which I ended up buying a lot of. Uh, and I've actually got that for you in today's video. That happened yesterday. As you can see, the room, well, you might not be able to see it too clearly in the shot that I've got for you. It probably doesn't look too messy, but in front of me here is everything that I'm about to show you from this big eBay store purchase that I made off someone that's actually now stepping away from eBay and no longer doing it. Uh, he messaged me on Instagram and said, uh, do you mind if I come over and drop off all my stuff and you can pick out whatever you like and we can cut a deal. Um, so that is what I'm going to be showing you in this video. The majority of the video will be that purchase. Um, but I do have a couple of fantastic sales results that came in over the last 24 hours that I'm about to put in a mailbag. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that very shortly. I'm also going to show you an update on our sales numbers, uh, trying to attack $13,000. I've been speaking about this all week on this channel. Uh, a few more uploads this week, but it's a, a real monthly documentation to try and attack our $13,000 of revenue uh, that we're aiming for. Black Friday is coming up next week. Um, so we're in preparation for Black Friday. And honestly, all of the stuff that we've been able to buy yesterday that we're going to be listing up over the next few days uh, is perfect coming into that sale. Um, so I'm really excited about things. And the first thing that I want to do is show you those sales. So let's check those out. So you guys might have remembered this in my last video. This was a Newtown Jets Rugby League New South Wales Cup jersey. Big number nine on the back there. I bought this for $25. And the reason why I loved it so much is because there was a big GPS pouch on there. And I spoke about that in the video. Whenever you find GPS pouches, you know that it's going to be a player issued jersey. And that right there was always going to go for some really good money. Now, I bought it for $25 and I was initially going to list it up for $100. And that would have been the silliest thing I could have done because there are comps of, uh, of Newtown Jets jerseys that go for $1,000 on eBay. Now, not to say that this was going to be worth a thousand dollars, but I knew that this team and the fact that it was player issued meant that I probably should have put it up for a higher dollar than a hundred bucks. So I went with 300. I put $300 on this yesterday at midday and I got 25 people look at it and I had one watcher on it and I could have hundred percent just left it and it would have probably sold for 300, but I went back into the listing, looked for a quick sale and I dropped the price to $250. And then late last night, somebody jumped on and bought it for the full asking price of $250. So 25 into 250 and I, I literally had it on sale for eight hours. And that's what happens with these sorts of items. These jerseys are very, very highly collectible and I knew that someone was going to snap it up. I knew it was going to be on that same day, if not maybe today. And we got 250 bucks off what was a crazy haul of thrift finds in my last video. So if you missed that, definitely go and check it out because that was just so exciting when that sort of thing comes through. I was just blown away. Well, not blown away because I anticipated it, but I was just so excited that I was able to get that money so quickly. Uh, you know, when you 10X your, your, your find, that's always going to be good no matter what. I found these as well. This was the, uh, the other item I wanted to take you through. This is Thrasher. Um, who remembers those Thrasher skateboarding magazines? Well, I found these in a very cheap op shop and uh, we've got a 2013, 2012 and 2014 uh, issues here and there's a total of seven magazines. Um, I paid a dollar each, so I paid seven bucks for these and I've turned them into a $50 sale price. So with these Thrasher mags, um, the, the earlier you can get them, the better. Um, so if, if this was 90s or 80s or early 2000s, it would have gone for more money. Um, but because I had the 2012, 13 and 14s, um, yeah, you know, 50 bucks was pretty pretty competitive off the, off the comps that I was seeing. So seven magazines, I'm going to put them into a box. 50 bucks there, 250 there, $300 worth of two sales. And I only paid $32 initially to purchase it. So 
We had a couple of bread and butter winners as well. Um, I've already done them up this morning because we've got a big day ahead, but there's four sales there that just came through that I've whacked into envelopes. Basically some DVDs and some video games there, but I'll quickly take you through this whiteboard to give you a look at those sales numbers to let you know how these sales have affected our overall goal of 13,000. All right, so here's a look at the update. We currently have got 15 listings scheduled now for Friday and Saturday. So today, done, tomorrow, ready to roll. And then I just need to do that 15 right there. So if I can get those 15 listings done today, that'll have us finished up for the week and then we can roll straight into Black Friday. I don't need to source any more items because this is what was in front of me before when I was filming to you guys, which we're gonna show you this purchase in just a second. But we were able to do $497 yesterday. Obviously, this jersey has really helped that day turn into a close to $500 sales day. And we're now on 6,560 after 16 days, today being the start of day 17. So we're averaging $410 a day, and we wanna be averaging $433, but we do have a four-day Black Friday sale coming up. Um, so that's going to allow this figure to balloon slightly, hopefully eclipsing the 13,000. If we get 13,200, that'll be the all-time greatest month that we've ever had on eBay. So we're in some pretty cool territory. We're in some new territory. And these numbers are going in the right direction. So while I go ahead and just put the Thrasher mags into a box and I'm going to put the jersey into a satchel, I've also got a MacGyver Season 1. I just need to put that into probably, unfortunately, a satchel. Um, which will cost a little bit. Uh, I'm going to run the footage now of Jesse. Jesse came over. I've actually picked uh, one of Jesse's um, allotments of stock that he had about a year ago. I drove up to the Sunshine Coast. He actually drove down from the Sunshine Coast just yesterday just to drop off all of his stuff. And like I touched on in the intro, um, he's out of eBay. He's done it for a year. He's got a little kid um, and he's got his priorities in a different mind, uh, mindset, I guess. So he's, he's not focusing on it anymore. Completely fine. He's still got a bunch of great stock that we can go ahead and purchase. So I'm going to run the footage. I'm going to jump into the post. And then when we get back from the footage, I'm going to take you through the, the breakdown of everything that we're able to pick up. Are you out of the game? Is that what that is? Yeah. You, you're not doing it anymore? No. It's just, oh, really? just got put off a full-time job. Right, okay. Down, so I need it. Needs, need rent, so. so this is everything that you have left over? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, gotcha. Not much, but uh, see what you're keen, keen yeah. for. Yeah, so. there's a bit there, hey? Because I know we were initially talking DVDs, weren't we? Yeah. And then uh, I actually didn't realise you were completely out. Um, but if you are, that's that's a fair bit of stuff to sit through, which is cool. Yeah. So, keen on any of that. Yeah. Good. Yeah, well, I... I just trying to think what is the best way to do it, whether we do it just here. I'm, I'm just thinking more the sun yeah, um, being, cool. being hot. I mean, we've got a bit of space. Come on in, have a look. It's just a cooler room. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what the best way is going to be to go about it, but we can move some stuff into here maybe and then just yeah. sift through it from there. Yeah, it's your tub by tub, I reckon. Yeah. It'll be an hour or so out here, you'd be scorching. Yeah. All right, well, hey, fair bit here, eh? Yeah. What were you honing in on? Obviously, you had a, a full stack of DVDs. Yeah, probably mainly probably DVDs because it's easier to you know ship and video games. And then collectibles as oh, well. Oh yeah, most of oh, some of it's my, my personal gear as well. So. All right, so let's put the DVD tubs to one side. I don't really need because you got a lot of basically you were just doing TV shows, weren't you? Yeah. So that's yeah, good, pretty much. Now this is a bunch of clothing. No, I love it. Super League hat. It's pretty cool too. Yeah. I'm assuming out from like Super League 97, I think. It looks, like, looks like the same um, same logo design. Yeah, and it looks like the old the old inner hat tag as well for it. That's cool. What's this one? Yeah, this is a, um, yeah, hold up. This is Simpsons. Oh, that's cool. Simpsons Nambo. Oh, yeah. Someone's buying that. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Was that through store fine? Yeah. Yeah, it was sick. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's the re retro or vintage um, Brisbane. Oh, oh, yeah, I like that too. Yeah, I'd definitely, definitely yeah. look at that. Uh, Brizzy Lions gear is good. Any sort of sport, as you know. That's a, that's a soccer jersey. Oh, that looks pretty legit too, doesn't it? 
Yeah, let's see, so we've got the tags. Is there an inner? Oh, yeah. Yep, you can whack that over to the side. Here, I was saying I wouldn't do clothing, and now, <laughs> now I'm looking at all of it. Yeah. Um, probably leave all of that, yep. I reckon. Yeah, I just brought it all. I wasn't sure what you. No, I appreciate it. It's um, it's awesome, awesome to see. I didn't know what was coming. It was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> a bit of a surprise packet. Cool. Now I'm liking the look of this. We have a cool. I'll get you to pull that off with me. It's a Vancouver 2010. I like that. Um. So, standard Blu-rays, not TV shows. Yeah, it's just normal one. Um... So, probably put them to the side. Uh, that's an awesome hat. Mm. Old school New South Wales blue, state of origin. Yeah, that's it. I'll put that there too. Hats, Commonwealth Games. Which Kings is that? Is that, oh, NHL. Yeah, NHL, yeah. Yep, that's cool. Move that down. Pink Wii controller. Any other Wii stuff? Uh, maybe some games. Only a couple. Maybe a couple of games. Here's some video games down here. I think. What have we got here? Dogs Buzz. Oh, that's a cool VHS for Dragon Ball. Oh, it's just a 2.1. Yeah. We'll leave him. Those games over there. Yes. What are all of these? Just Australia Union. Nothing on the back. No. No, we'll leave that. And we've got some more Simpsons. That's a cool Woody. Is that an old school one? Can't see a date on it. Nah, I can't see a date. Tweenies, Rugrats. How were your um, video game sales going? Yeah, not too bad. A good category? Yeah. yeah I've done good. really well with it. Um, that and the DVDs just continue. Harry Potter, Simpsons, Drawn to Life. Give you those. Pretty sure, sorry, I should have mentioned that before. Um, pretty sure the, oh, that, one has, that one has a game in it. Pretty sure these are just cases, sorry. Cases only? Should that's have, all right. Shouldn't have mentioned that before. No, that's fine. I still take and sell the case only. Pokemon. These actually go all right. Do you know if the condition of those are any good? Like the actual, um, yeah, I haven't checked in a while. There's a little bit in there. What about this one? With the VHS tapes, you've just got to, yeah, mm. see that there, so that won't play back. Yeah. So we'll basically, you toss them, I reckon. They won't be any good. Lightsaber. Right, yeah, we can put all those video games over there. Some double ups. Let me just check those, see if they're any good. That looks alright. Yep, they look both good. I'll take a look at those. Brizzy Lions 2003 Granny. I wish that was 2023. <laughs> that would have been a better result. Yep. Cool collector mug though, glass. What's this dude? Stanley? Yeah. Yeah, nice. All right, I think that one is fine. You don't want these ones, eh? That's the ones with the mold. If the other one with the mold, yeah. you can whack them in there. Put this. All right, it's the second tub. Still got another five. All right. Any Dragon Ball Z Tarzos? Um, the Simpsons. The Simpsons ones, are yeah, they? at the back. There's a couple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Not, not many, but not many, but a couple. I've never actually found Tarzos in the wild. Was this thrift store or? Yeah, yeah was was not the op shop as well. Wow. Yeah, it's one of one of those things on my list, but I've never actually. I'll have a look at it. Have a look. Oh, yeah, I'll have a look at that one. Board games. I'm going to pass on. It's a Toy Story ice cream tin. It's kind of cool. Gee, a 3D view mark. Yeah. I remember. Do you remember those? <laughs> yeah. I remember those. Wow. Uh, then what do we got down here? More board games? Yeah, more board games. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is the memory cards and the console, right? Yeah. All right, so we'll have a look at that. Have a look at memory card there. And you wouldn't know if that's working or not. Just but haven't tested. Haven't it, tested. No, no stress. Come with lead, sadly. No, that's fine. All right. This looks like a fun tub. <laughs> were you mainly um, just thrift stores for all these finds, or were you facing uh, marketplace yeah, a bit? Yeah, some marketplace. Marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. This feels like marketplace sometimes turning into eBay. What is this? Is this a 64 uh, yeah, game? Six, um, it's a NES, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shit. Solstice. Cool. Atari game. Turbo Sub. And then another one, Awesome Golf. Yep, we'll have a look at that. It's been strange, the magazines. I've done, some have done really well for me, hey? No. Yeah. Some haven't. Cartoon. That's interesting. Normally you just take anything, Simpsons, though, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Garfield mug. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. 1979. No, no. <laughs> wow. That's epic. Oh. It's just glassware I haven't really done a lot of. Process of pain packing it as well. Yeah, it is a bit of a pain yeah. to pack. Found a few of these the other day too that I'm doing as a bundle. Oh, yeah. Don't know much about them, the Marvel figures. Oh, these are nice, hey. 4X. They are nice. Were they sitting in the store for a while? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Really? No hits. Jeez. I'm surprised by that, because I like new. Forex mugs. Uh, more games? Yeah, more games. What's that one? Oh, PlayStation 1, is it? Yep, I'll have a look at that. Puzzles. What have we got in here? That's a Toowoomba one. Toowoomba. Toowoomba Rugby League, Queensland Rugby League. Some tag there. Hmm, might leave it. What's that one? Pants? Yeah, cricket. I'm not sure if you cricket Australia. Oh, Cricket Australia. What's yeah. on? Is there a logo on the front no. of the pen? Just oh, okay. Carousel. Oh yeah. Yep. You put them to the side. I'll have a look at that. Um. What are these? These look cool. Yeah, Mambo pants. Froth Lords. Number one dad. Mate, you should be wearing these. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> they should be yours. State of origin. this guy yeah. all right I think we're done with that one we've got three to go here and this is our little collection so far that I'm looking out that I've I've got a bit of interest in and as you guys know it's always DVDs video games shoes hats and clothing the only thing we don't have in that mix is just some shoes um, which you weren't really doing, eh? You didn't really Not do many shoes? shoes, no. Yeah, right. Just hard to find? Or? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, fair. Um, well, I'm seeing a few things I like in this, so 
We may not even have to do too much about pulling anything out of here. This looks pretty good. Um, yeah, that all looks great. That looks great. What's this thing? That looks good. Uh, yeah. What is it? Just a mug? Like drinking Yeah, I think cup. a mug from um, Disney World. From Oh, from Disney World. Yeah, cool. And then... Yeah. And then what are these? Dorbs. Yeah, a little dead of horse. What's this show? Revenge of the Nerds. Never saw it. Cool. Uh, I might just... All I'll do is take out the Dorbs. And we'll keep that whole tub as is. So we'll move that stuff. Jeez, this is sick. How old is it? I don't know, it looks like the... Um does it? Logo from the early 2000s. Yeah, it does. That logo is definitely a 2000s. Hey, mate. Hello, mate. Oh, you got a few goodies. Yeah. What are they? Return yeah. to senders? There you go. Appreciate yeah, that. Signature for it. Need a scribble? Thanks, mate. Great. Lovely. Sorry. Thank you, sir. Wow, hey, what are they? Jesus. We'll go through that later. Uh, all right, so yeah, we'll put all that to the side. That's cool. I think I might leave, what's in that black box? Uh, it's just a, like a portable DVD player. That, we might leave that. Leave that? Yep. So we might need a tub up. All this is just, does all mix, mix toys. Well, that's, he's cool. 2004 Hasbro. He's just missing a, yeah, missing his weapon, I think. A gun or whatever he had. I've actually done really well with action figures this year. Surprisingly for me at the start of the year. Oh yeah, you got some wrestling figures. I might leave them just on the sheer quantity of stock that we're looking at here. Yeah. Um, I might just leave that. We've got two more. Oh, now, do you know any value out of this... Uh, High five collection you got? Uh, I think I don't know some are selling. Well, I think it's bundle six, selling for like fifty bucks. Yeah, that's right. I think you're right. I think some are better than others, obviously, like everything else. But I'm just that yeah. goosebump book. I will keep that over there. Oh, if he's going to start up. There's a button just underneath that little grey bit. That? Yeah. Drown him out. Thanks, mate. All good. That's nice. Jeez, I'm shocked some of this stuff wasn't selling. Yeah, it's just sitting there for a while. It's sitting there. Minecraft. What, what are those? Uh, little books, I think, from the 90s. Book bundles. I might leave for the high fives. HR Puffin stuff on V8. Jeez, this <laughs> does well on, um, on DVD. Yeah. Nah, we'll leave all that, mate. Leave all that? Yep. Oh, you do have a pair of shoes. Oh, yeah, there's a couple in there. One rogue pair. What are they? Oh, they're Nikes. Defender. Oh, good pair of shoes. Aladdin. Harry Potter. Philosophers. Power Rangers. Yeah, Monarch's all right. They'd be in pretty good condition too. What size were they? 12. Yep. Tupperware, shoes. And then you got DMC FX12, Luminex, it's a digital camera. Do you know if that's complete or if it's got char uh, should charges or anything should with it? I'll check for you. Yeah. Should be all in there. I'd like to get into that category more. Yeah. Just don't know a lot about it. Yeah, the little camera. Oh yeah, little guy. And then you got all the other bits and pieces and in there. Charger and the AV cords. 
All right. Oh, yeah, that could be an experiment. Awesome. Cool. Well, I think that is everything. Kind of a fast paced everything. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm pretty cluey these days with just sticking to my wheelhouse of what I sell, yeah. um, which is everything. I mean, anyone watching these videos will know that I probably could have guessed that I would have looked out all that stuff and passed on some of this stuff. Not to say that this stuff doesn't sell. I mean, we could, you could look to buy that, you know, action figures galore. I think that's, that's Star Wars, isn't it? Yep. Like that would all, everything, everything that you brought would sell. It's just for me, if you look around this room, I've got my wall of video games. I've got all of my, well, kind of collectibles here. I'm phasing out of my Funkos. Got a lot of books over in the corner there. And then this is just a big wall of shoes and a big wall of DVDs. So that's pretty much what I'm trying to source um, over here. So we just got to work out pricing, mate. Yeah, definitely. I'm happy for you to let me know how you want to go about it in the sense of the pricing. Um, whether it be to break it up into categories, whether it to, if you've got a one lump sum that you're happy to look at on the basis of me taking all of this, completely up to you. I wouldn't have a clue. I'm not really good at this part. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Do you... I, I think we'd looked at 300 for the DVDs, didn't we? Yeah. Um, for all your DVDs. And I mean, we could split it all out and have a look at it. I would throw a number... I would give you a clean 500. Yep. I'll happy? Be happy, happy with that? Yeah, yeah. That's, again, pretty rushed. Not, not looking into it too heavily, but yeah. I'm no, that's a fair amount. Working, off the th working off the 300 for the DVDs and then 200 for the rest. Yep. Um, yeah, definitely. But if you're happy with 500 yeah. cash... I'll be happy with 500. Mate, we've got a deal. How awesome. good is that? Thank Unreal. you. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Um, I'll give you a hand with moving all of this back into the car. Yeah. So firstly, a huge thank you to Jesse. He drove all the way from the Sunshine Coast, which is about a two, two and a half hour drive from my house. Uh, and he basically, as you saw, sat in my garage and told me that I could grab whatever I wanted and we'd cut a cool deal. I think $500 is pretty fair. I say fair because we agreed on a $300 bundle via text on Instagram before he came over. So when I was working out that $500 price point, I knew that 300 was for DVDs and then I looked at everything else on top uh, that I hadn't known that he was going to be bringing. Uh, and I just gave him a $200 price on that. Um, so that's why I think $500 is, is truly fair off the initial agreement. I'm pretty sure he was doing his video game, his, um, his DVDs for a dollar each, which is obviously great being TV shows as well, because everything that I've got off him are different TV shows. What I want to do is I want to take you through just some of my favorite items out of the haul. There's so much to go through. I'm not going to spend the entire video breaking down every single item, but I, I will pull out a few items here uh, that I really like the look of, that I know of its value, uh, that we should be able to recoup our $500 back pretty quickly on. I'm not a big clothing fan, as you know, but I love that Simpsons Mambo t-shirt. Really cool size as well. It was quite large. I believe it is a size large, even though the tag isn't there. Um, and a big part Simpson... Uh, Big skeleton Bart Simpson on the back there as well with a slushy. Um, that was sweet. So I think they go for about $35 to $40. And being in such good condition, that should sell pretty quickly in, in time for Christmas, I would say. Um, this here was going for some pretty decent money as well. The Panasonic X, uh, FX12 digital camera. This is just something that I want to be doing a little bit more of. I'd like to, in 2024, start to get into the cameras a little bit more because I just know how much money's in there. This one's got the charger, all the manuals, that one's in there as well. So I'll give that one a bit of a test run, but I thought that was a really cool find. Now this one here, speaking of cool finds, this New South Wales Blues hat was by far the best hat that he had in his collection. I should be able to get about a $50 price for that one there. And then we've also got a massive uh, 007 Ultimate Collector's set here of uh, James Bond. Have a look at that. That goes for about $75. So it'll be a, it'll definitely cost a little bit to ship off, uh, but that was a really, really good price there. Now, this is what I've done so far. I've, I've kept all of the DVDs just off to the side there. Um, these games don't comp out to be worth too much money. I'm actually thinking about potentially not even listing those up. Uh, but this is what I have been working on. I've been listing up all of this here uh, yesterday. And then that over there is the clothing and the shoes and a few hats as well. So DVDs, shoes, hats, video games, and, and uh, yeah, that's all it is. Um, all right, so some winners. 
We've got packed to the rafters, and we've got season one to six. And that goes for about $80, that TV show. I've actually never found it in its complete entirety. So that was epic. Um, this one here as well, I did some comp research not knowing. Revenge of the Nerds goes for $70. So that's definitely one for you guys to be trying to find out there. Um, Yakuza 4, that was going for about $35. If you can find the steel case, I think it's worth a couple of hundred. Uh, he did have season 17, a really rare season of The Simpsons. I should be able to get about $60 odd for that one there as well. That was awesome. Uh, and then I loved these three. Anytime I can find vintage old school video games like Nintendo, NES, uh, we've got Solstice here, and it's even got its original box as well, which I absolutely love seeing. Um, so that also has, I believe, uh, no, no manual in there, but there is manuals in these two. So we've got the game, the original box, and the manual. These will both sell for about $40. And I think Solstice is around that same price as well, about 40 bucks. Now over here, I've just been listing up a bunch of, well, more or less bread and butter video games. I've got a Goosebumps book set. I've got the PlayStation 2 console, the Mozart collection, CD collection. That was going for about 40. And then we've got some other movies that are worth about $20 each. And then some uh, TV show seasons of The Simpsons there. And they're all going for about 20 bucks each as well. These cricket shorts are also pretty interesting. I'm not 100% sure which team this is. I want to say that it's the Bush Rangers um, or the Victorian team. Uh, I don't know if they're Australian cricket team pants. I think they might be the Victorian Bush Ranger pants in the cricket. Not 100% sure. They look like big bash shorts, uh, pants, I should say. So I think that'll go for some decent money. Um, we've got a Mambo Smart Arts shirt there. I thought this Super League hat, the first item that we found, I thought that was really cool. Uh, Vancouver there, Kings as you saw, um, this Brisbane Lion, check out this, old school, old school AFL official licensed product, my dad might even like this, maybe I'll give this to the old man for Christmas, he watches these videos, so dad if you want this, let me know, uh, I think that's a ripping tea, um, actually I will give that to dad, I'll give that to him before Christmas I think, um, some, some DVDs over here that I think are worth notable mentions. We've got a few really good copies of Blue Healers. That always goes for some good money. Uh, I don't know about this one here, The Eagle, but we've got volumes one, two, three, and four of that. Uh, these are all TV shows here, guys, and that's the way I like to source my DVDs. I like to sell TV shows only. Uh, we've got one to six volumes of The Crocodile Hunter. That goes for about 50 odd dollars. We've got this one, which is a massive bolo, tag it. Um, we've got a couple of different uh, years there, 92 through to 97. I think that goes to, uh, hmm, I'll have to put the comps up on screen. It's pretty significant though. And then this one here as well, another good series to be finding, the PD James collection. We've got three collections of that as well. So there are some heavy hitters. You've got Charmed in there as well. Bindi Irwin down there too. Uh, a big collection of the Wiggles. So I'm pretty confident that we're going to be making at least a few hundred dollars worth of true profit. But what I will say, it is absolutely scorching in here. Courtney's off at the moment, as I touched on at the beginning of the video. She's got tonsillitis. Um, so wish her well in the comments below. But um, that's everything that we're going to be chipping away on into next week. I will probably go to the flea market, uh, I think, on Sunday and just buy a few more goodies to push us further into the week. But we potentially, I've only got 15 listings left to go, like I touched on, to get rid of this week. I might have enough stock here to be able to get us through all of next week as well. Um, so that was really, really exciting to be able to push well ahead of the game. Uh, just makes me feel a little bit more confident about things moving forward. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. Big private pick day. I've got a lot of work to do in this place because there was still a bunch of stuff from last episode's video that I haven't even listed up yet. And I don't do death piles. So I better get cracking. I better list up some items. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.